Here's one for you to try. Uh, we're using the substitution method here to solve the linear system 6x plus 3y equals 12, 9x plus 6y equals 15. Let me just give you a hint in starting this. For the substitution method to work, you need to isolate a variable. You need to have a lone variable somewhere. So can you divide one of these two equations by some number to get a variable by itself and not have a bunch of crazy fractions everywhere? So give it a shot, pause this video, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. Okay, did you divide the top equation by 3? Because that's the correct way to go, or not, uh, not necessarily the only way, I'd say the best way though, how about that? There are multiple correct ways to solve this thing. Divide everything here by 3. That gives us a new set of equations. 2x plus y equals 4 on the top, and then, well, the bottom stays the same. 9x plus 6y equals 15. Now we can solve this equation up here for y. So that gives us y equals 4 minus 2x. All right, and then we saw, we plug that in down here into this y, the other equation. And I'm careful to include parentheses around that because so, really there's kind of parentheses hanging out around this y. All right, doing that gives us 9x plus 6. Now instead of y, we've substituted 4 minus 2x equals 15. And we just need to solve this equation for x, so let's do it. This 6 gets distributed through, so we have 9x plus 24 minus 12x equals 15. Let's see, combine like terms, that gives minus 3x, and then I'm going to subtract 24 from both sides. Okay, so negative 24 plus 15, which gives negative 9. Finally, we divide both sides by negative 3 to get y equals 3, x equals 3, x equals 3. Great. Halfway there, actually more like 90% of the way there. We solve for one variable, but we still need to solve for y. Where do we plug in? You can plug in anywhere. One place will be a little bit easier. I'm going to plug this in all the way up here. Because, I'm going to get rid of these parentheses because they're not necessary right now. Right, because that, then that'll give us a straight shot to y. Okay, so that gives us y then equals 4 minus 2 times, we decided x was 3, so 3. So y equals 4 minus 6, negative 2. All right, so our answer then, as an ordered pair, put that over here. Okay, remember the x goes first and then the y, so x is 3 y is negative 2. There we go.